Hey there, Louis here. Thanks for stopping by. Now this video is a follow-up to one of my earlier tutorials where I demonstrate how you can connect a SharePoint online list to an Excel spreadsheet. Now ever since posting that tutorial, I have received a ton of questions and comments asking how you can display the values of complex column types that are stored in your SharePoint list. You can see some of these comments and questions there on the screen. Now in this tutorial, I am actually going to show you how you can display the values of complex column types in your Excel spreadsheet. Now, what do I mean by complex column types? Well, these include lookup columns that you have in your SharePoint list and columns that are a person data type. Now you'll notice in my other tutorial, when I establish that connection to my Excel sheet, complex column types either display a value of list or record. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually display either the values from your lookup column or the actual values of those person type columns. Now, really important note in this video, I'm not going to show you how you can actually establish that connection between your SharePoint list and the Excel spreadsheet. If you need to learn how to do that, you can click that card in the upper right hand corner and that is going to link out to my tutorial where I demonstrate how to do that. Alternatively, I've included the link to that video in the description below. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I have a SharePoint online list called Invoice Tracker. Now in this list, I have a bunch of different column types and I want to draw your attention specifically to two columns. The first one is the business unit column. And if I click into the column settings, you can see here that this is a lookup type column that is actually pulling data from another SharePoint online list. And you can see that I also have a buyer column, which is a person type column. So you can see here person or group. And again, this is going to allow individuals inputting data in your list to select from users that exist in your Microsoft environment. Now I've gone ahead and I've established a connection between my SharePoint list and my Excel spreadsheet. Now you can see here the business unit column is displaying a value of list instead of the actual business unit values. So instead of displaying finance for both of these rows, it's just displaying list. And the same thing is happening here for this buyer column. Now, in order to display these values, what you want to do is you want to place your cursor in the rows that have been fetched from your list. And that is going to add this table design and query tab. You want to click on the query tab and you want to click edit. Now this is going to bring up Power Query Editor. And here you can see the columns from your SharePoint online list. Now what you want to do is you want to find the columns that are displaying the values of list, in this case, the business unit column, and you wanna place your cursor on this icon that has arrows pointing in either direction and you want to click on it. Next, you wanna click expand to new rows. And next you wanna place your cursor back on this icon and you wanna click on it and it is going to display a drop down menu. Now you can see here you have the option of adding additional columns to this table. So I will go ahead and click look up value in this case and I'll click OK. And you can see here that it's now added the actual value of the business unit column instead of just displaying list. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the buyer column. So you want to again click on this icon. Then you want to click expand to new rows. And now you want to click on this icon again and it's going to display this drop down menu. And in this case, because it is a person type column, we have the option of adding a title, an email, an SIP, ID, a picture, et cetera. So I'll add title and email and click OK. And you can see here that it's now displaying the name of the individuals selected in the buyer column. And I can also pull their email address as well. Now I'll go ahead and close the Power Query Editor. And you're going to get this message here. You want to just go ahead and click Keep. 
And you can see here that your Excel spreadsheet has also updated to display the values of your lookup column and the actual name and email address that we added for our buyers that again are coming from a person type column in your list. And so that's it. In this video, I showed you how you can display the values of complex column types from a SharePoint list in an Excel spreadsheet after you establish a connection from your list to the sheet. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.